Hi, I'm Deepika, and I want to show you one of my favorite exercises for relieving stress, for getting connected to your body and grounded. This is a really good exercise to do when you're feeling anxious or out of sorts, when you're spinning or really busy in your head and need to get grounded again. It's also a good thing to do when you're feeling a little bit low on energy and want to get reinvigorated and reconnected with your life force. It's a very simple exercise and it's based on harnessing your life force and getting grounded in the earth. The way this exercise works is you basically just stand with your legs shoulder width apart, get your feet comfortable. If you can do this in bare feet, that's the best, but you don't have to. High heels won't work though. So go ahead and just get your feet on the ground, get your knees bent. That's the most important part of this whole exercise is just bending your knees. And as you bend your knees, let your jaw soften so that your whole jaw is loose and you're going to be breathing through the mouth. And as you do this, as you bend your knees, you see what's already beginning to happen. There's a little vibration that comes into my knees. So just go ahead and imagine that you have little springs, little soft springs in your knees and they could just bounce and your knees could just go boing, boing, boing and bounce softly on the earth. Jaws loose. And as your knees bounce, your whole body begins to shake. And as your body begins to shake, just let all the tensions, all the stresses in your system loosen up and begin to fall down towards the earth. Almost like they could just crumble and dissolve from your shoulders, from your back, from your pelvis, down your legs, into your feet. And as you do this, you might find yourself taking some deep breaths. That's fine. Just going to be focusing on your legs, your knees. And all the energy goes down towards the earth, draining out like a grounding rod into the ground. And as your legs soften and as your hips soften, you'll start to notice this vibration moving more fully up into your spine. So just let that energy start to move into your spine. And it'll start to move up your spine into your shoulders. Just let your shoulders bounce around a little bit too. That's right, just let those exhales keep coming. You might even feel good to have a sigh or a sound. Ah. As this vibration loosens your shoulders and loosens your arms, you let more and more vibration come into your arms, down your elbows, into your wrists. Ah. All the tension in your shoulders and neck pouring out your arms, down your spine, into the earth. <sighs> the earth can hold you. The earth can take it. You don't need to hold it all in your body. Jaw loose. You can keep your eyes closed throughout the exercise if you like. Let the wobbliness come into your neck. And if it's okay for your body, let your head shake a little bit. Your jaw, your head, your shoulders. <sighs> now as you do this, you'll notice it gets easier and easier. You might start to feel tingly or some warmth flowing. Usually at the beginning, everything feels a little stiff. And then once you shake for a while, it all starts to get a little looser, a little more fluid. And everything is happening because of the knees and the feet being soft and bouncy. <sighs> and after you do this for a while, after you loosen more and you allow some soft movements in your shoulders and your neck to meet the bouncing and the shaking, you start to notice some life energy beginning to move up your body through your feet into your body. The first part, you're releasing all the tension, you're letting it go. 
The second part is actually inviting life force from the earth to come up your feet, into your legs, into your body. Still shaking. <sighs> you might experience this as soft heat. It might be like light of some kind. <sighs> Just breathing in life force from the earth into your pelvis, into your spine, <sighs> into your chest, through your whole body. And you don't have to do very much for this to happen. It happens by itself. <sighs> and after doing a little bit of shaking, you might want to get really vigorous for a while, or it might get more subtle. So if it feels like it wants to get really strong, let it get really strong. <sighs> Shake it all out. Loosen everything up. Fill up with life. Or it might get really subtle might start to tap into some feelings. Just trust your body, trust what it needs. And just let whatever you're feeling as you do this, letting it go through your body, rippling down into the earth. If you yawn, that's okay. If your jaw starts to tremble, that's fine. Let your jaw tremble. And just keep going for just a few more breaths, letting everything loosen, become invigorated, refreshed. And then eventually, slowly, slowly, your body will start to come to a softer, gentler vibration. Let the softening happen on its own. Or if you're on a schedule, you can just invite the shaking to get more and more gentle. Don't come to a full stop right away. Just let it slowly, slowly come to more and more stillness. And then as the shaking stops, allow your body to move however it wants. Normally, there's some kind of stretching that wants to happen. Your body might want to open up certain places that are now much more fluid and alive. Mm, just trust what feels good inside. Mm. And then, when you're ready, you come to stillness. Knees are still soft, jaw is still loose. And just feel yourself. Feel this gentle tingliness or aliveness flowing through you. Feel the earth supporting you. And feel what it's like to really be here now in this moment. And carry this groundedness, carry this aliveness with you as you move out into your day. <sighs> 